Hello everybody, this is Tech Hut, and in this video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you my KDE Plasma desktop environment, how I have everything set up, the theming, the applications, just about everything. Now, I've been using this for about five months or so, so I kind of got everything together how it's going to stay for a while. So, I have the NeoFetch right here, so I can kind of give you a rundown of what's going on. This is Manjaro Linux with the 5.8 kernel running Plasma 5.19. I'm currently using the KWIN window manager with the Chrome OS dark theme and a couple more things that we're gonna get into in a minute. So I will be zooming in on the screen in a second, but while we're in this ultra wide view, I'm gonna kinda of show you some of the things that we won't be able to see later. So the very first thing down here is the start menu I've selected. You can see it's right here. If I go ahead and right click and I go to show alternatives, you can see I'm currently using Simple Menu, and these are some of the other ones that I've tried out and I've had installed. Throw at any point in this video, if you think that there's something I should try out or take a look at, go ahead and comment it down below. I'm using Simple Menu here. It's really, really nice. If I hit Cancel, you kind of see you have your tree of categories. You have all applications, and then you could kind of shuffle through that. Additionally, up here, I don't really click this that often, but if I tap on here, I have the U Launcher menu, which is really, really nice. It's kind of a more um, full screen visual thing. Uh, what I actually use is I go Window key A, and that brings up the uh, the U Launcher. So I do that a lot. Window key A if I'm in my desktop and I want to kind of bring up that full display. Additionally, up here in the top right hand corner, I have my color picker. I used to have it down here on my taskbar, but it did take up quite a bit of room. So this is a really nice tool. I use it a lot for creating thumbnails and getting exact color codes. So you just click here and you have your little uh, pointer. So you go ahead and give something a click and then get the exact color code for whatever it is that you selected. That's a really handy utility for some of the things I do. So now I zoomed in a little bit so we can kind of get a better grasp of what's going on. Down here, we're gonna take a look at this actual panel is what they call it. I call it my taskbar. But if we go over here and hit edit panel, the first thing I did is most people have it widescreen all the way. You can use these little drag tools to kind of move and resize it. You can see here, I can resize it to whatever size I want. You can use this one to resize it. But it seems to be right here in the middle is kind of how I like it. It's kind of like a Macintosh dock with a lot more functionality. You could change the, that's the screen edge I was just adjusting. You could adjust the height. Adding spacers, what I do is I add two spacers right here in between my system monitoring tools. So right here I have the individual core usage and the memory usage. And then over here kind of by my um, system tray I have the actual thermal temperature. I used to have GPU but that wasn't really necessary so I just put CPU over here. And it also was over here, but it just didn't look as good. So getting out of this, we can close it out up here. And let's go over some of the changes I've made. If you've watched my top 10 KDE widgets, you're going to see a lot of those go as I go over this now. Right here is the event calendar. I use this primarily to do a little quick glimpse at a calendar and to check the weather. It has a lot of detail on the weather. This is really, really nice. Uh, under my system tray, I have it slightly configured so it doesn't show some things, but I haven't really done much there. Right here is my individual core usage. You saw that in another video. And this is the memory usage. Before we get into the theming, what I'm going to do real quick is run through some of my most commonly used applications. And a lot of them are down here on this uh, task manager. And this is the icons only task manager. So the first thing, of course, is my files. This right here is the actual GNOME file manager. I usually use Dolphin, but I've been trying this out because Dolphin kind of has a lot of features that I don't really use. So I'm looking for something cleaner, so I'm kind of experimenting with this. But if I were to go close that out and go uh, Window Key F, it brings up Dolphin. So I do do this if I'm going into doing uh, like video projects and I'm going to be jumping back and forth between certain directories a lot. Specifically, the split feature I find super handy so you could have two different folders open at the same time and be able to drag and drop things really easy. So I use Dolphin more than the GNOME file manager. I've just been recently using this for more uh, kind of just a more lightweight, more visually appealing format without all these extra features everywhere. But if I'm actually doing like heavy workflow and video editing, I'll go ahead and pop Dolphin open and put up the split screen and have that running in the background. 
Next, you'll see down here I have two web browsers, Chrome and Vivaldi. I've kind of been trying to go over to this one a little bit more over Chrome, just because it's a lot nicer, has some more features, but it's still running based on Chrome. But I, I still use Chrome a lot more than this. Go over here, we have our Ad Remove software. I use this quite frequently, especially uh, using this to access the AUR. Um, and this is kind of giving you a preview of the theming. This is absolutely beautiful, the color and all that. The Chrome OS theme is awesome. Um, going on, we have Caden Live. I use Caden Live a lot. It's a wonderful video editor. I've talked about it a ton in the past. It's basically a open source version of Adobe Premiere Pro, and I love it. And then we have OBS Studio. I'm using that right now. You can see on the screen. Um, it's really nice. I'm kind of learning more and more how to use it. Once I master it, I'll come out with a separate tutorial. So you kind of see this is the uh, screen I was just on. And then I could go to middle screen or I could even go to the webcam only so you can see me talking like this. But let's go back to the middle screen, get rid of that. And next we have GIMP. This is actually Glimpse image editor it's basically GIMP with a couple minor changes that's kind of a hit or miss I, I don't I'm not really familiar enough even with GIMP to give a comparison on that but I've just been using that because it's been suggested and it's what I have next is VirtualBox I use VirtualBox on the daily I just moved some files around so these are going to be inaccessible but VirtualBox is wonderful for testing out uh, distributions then we have the terminal, that's self-explanatory, that's a daily use thing, and I went over everything else. So now, I'm going to go ahead and open up my start menu and type in system settings, just so I could kind of run down the actual theming that I'm using. So into the actual plasma settings, if I go under global theme, you can see kind of everything I tried out. Like I said, if there's something you don't see here that is wonderful, go ahead and let me know down below. So far, the Chrome OS dark theme has been rather surprising. I used the uh, Sweet Mars and Sweet for cr quite a while. Those are both beautiful, but this one is more, it's more clean. Those are kind of, it's borderline cartoonish with how they have the colors and some of that, and that's just not my style. So Chrome OS is kind of what I've been going for. Uh, if I go down to the Plasma style, I just stick with the uh, default, the Chrome OS. Under application style, this is kind of where I went custom. If I go under the configure GNOME GTK application style, click on that. I went with this Arcus Dark, I think is how you say it, I hope. And then for the actual application style, by default, I have it selected as the uh, Breeze. Oxygen is really good too. Uh, under window decorations, I have it as the Chrome OS Dark, just because sticking with that Chrome OS. Another one that's really, really good is the uh, the Sweet Mars. I know I just said I don't like it, but the uh, if you're gonna go with anything there, uh, window decorations is really, really nice. Let's go under colors. I have the, where, what do I have selected here? Have anything selected? I think I have Chrome OS. Yeah, there it is, Chrome OS Dark. That's what's selected. Fonts, I did change my fonts around a little bit. I really like the URW Gothic font. Uh, if you can't tell, I've been using that a lot in my thumbnails. I just think it looks good. It's super clean. But I did just change this to that, so it's not like I've been using this on a consistent basis. For the icons, I'm currently rocking the Tila Dark icons here. And I was using the Windows 10 ones for a while. The candy icons are kind of the color, colorful, vibrant ones, so if you're into that. But I really like this. It, it makes everything look really, really nice. I like the folder icons all the application icons. Cursors, I changed it to the White Sur Dark, so the one that comes with the White Sur theme. I really like that. I tried to get the system kind of to look like a Macintosh for a little bit, but I couldn't get some of the things to work, so I'm gonna make sure everything works perfectly fine before I uh, explore more into that. Under the workspace, I kind of I changed some things in here. I'm not exactly sure where the setting was, but I made it so that the, uh, there it is, window placement. When you open a window, uh, it's centered by default. A lot of the times it will open up far in the top corner. So I changed that to be centered because that's kind of how Windows generally handles it and that's just what I'm used to. But that's really about it when it comes to my overall theming and how I have it set up and the applications I have on my taskbar for quick access. Please let me know down below if you're running KDE Plasma, specifically what themes you're running and maybe if you're using a theme, what uh, things you're pulling from other themes and visual designs to use. So that about wraps that up. I hope you have a wonderful day. 
hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, and goodbye.